Google some music nostalgic out here. Today's gonna tell a title. I'm showing you guys everything I got for my birthday. Um, yeah, so another year, another haul. Um, let's just get into it. Um, the room is ugly, background is obviously different. I'm currently vlogging that, but I will explain what's happening because it's mostly part of like a birthday gift. So, I don't know if I mentioned the status post or not, but whatever um so there's a lot of, i got like a basket right here of stuff that i got i gotta bring up from the basement the first thing i got was this pair of nickelodeon socks specifically because i have cat dogs in it i wanted the cat dog socks but there's angelica rocco these these feel a little weird ren and stimpy i won't wear those i'll probably sell them or something so uh check out makari Hey Arnold, because it's not the only Nickelodeon thing I'll sell from this lot. And um, Reptar. These ones feel a little stiff, like they're not stretchy and not very soft. And there's some like shiny thread in this. I don't know if you can see Reptar is a little bit glittery. But a lot of the time when they've got the glitter in them, they're not very stretchy. But I wanted the cat dog ones, so you know, whatever. And now I've got to go through a bunch of socks. And then I got another pair of Nickelodeon socks. Here, I am gonna fix this. Cause like my tripods in my desk, my desk isn't accessible. These are very soft and seem very comfortable, stretchy. I love these, obsessed. Um, got them once again. Cat dog. But it's got Reptar, Ickis, there's cat dog, Helga, um, Ro Rocco, and SpongeBob. These I'll probably wear the most out of the two packs, but once again, just for cat dog stuff. Which, by the way, um, my cat dog so socks aren't with the rest of my socks. Um, I might get like a little nightstand or thing for my cat dog apparel. My cat dog collection's like bigger thing than it used to be since. Um, I'm like, kind of like, I got a lot of followers on TikTok with it, and I'm in like a group. Like, my cat dog collection's my personality now, so, whatever. But anyway. Next I got this Stitch Water Bottle. I have like a, like a Stitch Water Bottle that's more like a travel mug, and it broke, and it won't like, twist and close. You keep twisting it over and over again, and I think like a little curve on it broke. So, I need a new water bottle, so I got a stitch one. It's not as big, and I don't think it'll hold as much, but it's still cute. Plus, okay, so, I need a stitch water bottle because I bring water to work. One, so that when I'm in the kitchen, I won't have to leave the kitchen to get water all the time. <clears throat> but, um, I do end up running out of water before the day's over. But, then I'll just, it's around, like two o'clock when night people come in I'll go out when things like slow down and I'll go out and I'll get water because I ran out but I love the water from home it's very tasty that's why I do it plus I always thought that our water was Dasani and carbonated but we have regular water and carbonated water carbonated water my friend accidentally got it for me once when I asked her to give me some water and oh my god it's like flavorless sprite it's awful I hate it can't stand it Next, I got these Nickelodeon bookmarks, and you can probably already tell why. Cat dog. I, okay, these are on Amazon. And I, can I take it out of this sleeve? Is that, oh, okay, neat. I didn't think about that. You can order just this single bookmark on Amazon. So I did that a couple Christmases ago, and it literally never came. So we had to cancel and get a refund. So I thought, well, I'm going to try and buy the pack of them and I'll just sell these bookmarks because I don't, I don't read. So I'll just sell these bookmarks, watch out on my Macari for them, probably along with the socks. I'll probably charge like, I don't know, nine bucks or something. I don't know. And I was like, I'll order the pack and I'll get the cat dog. And it worked. I got the cat dog bookmark. Finally. Next I have, <clears throat> that goes with that, the complete 
first season on DVD of The Righteous Gemstones. I love The Righteous Gemstones so much, you can probably already tell why. But, um, I don't have, what is this on, HBO Max? I don't have HBO Max anymore because my dad paid for it and he decided to cancel it. Season 2 is coming up though and I'm going to have to pay for HBO Max for like a month or something. But I love the series so much, I had to have a DVD of it, just in case, like, obviously, like I said, I don't have a subscription, so, um, can't really watch it, so this is a way to watch it, so. I haven't watched an episode of The Righteous Gemstones in a very long time, actually, because of that reason, so I'm kind of excited. My DVD player is out right now, though. I'll explain why later. New bras. I have two bras, and these are like wireless, these are like sports bras, because I can't do wires, um, especially when I go to work, I wear tight clothes, it's uncomfortable, it stabs me, it, and I have that like fat right here, so it'll like, stab, like it stabs my, my, fo my skin fold, and it like stabs me, and I can't do it. My room is not going, and I hope my neighbors can't hear me. But I ordered a two-pack a while ago, and it's, you know, it's like not wires it's just a sports bra so i mean they're still in pretty good condition but threads are coming out a bit and i only have two so i need more so i got more for my birthday um i'm gonna knock this out of the way with the bras i got new underwear because uh victoria's secret the thing with victoria's secret is um i don't go often and when i do i get like six pairs a lot of the time an issue I have is like I can never find the same pair that I always get. It's all they always change it. I don't get it. I get like this, like the bikini or the briefs or something without a seam. I can't do seams. I'm very complex. But like, I went one time and I got some cute pairs, but they're like too small and they're uncomfortable. So now I got like a bunch of pairs that I can't like wear. So I thought, screw it, I'm just going to get normal underwear, even though these have like seams on them, sort of. Like these things, like you know the little edges? Like my Victoria's Secret underwear doesn't have that, but whatever. Then I got the 2022 Stitch Calendar. I'm going to use this to plan Stacy's 2022 year because I had Stitch on my wall this year and I also had Paw Patrol on my wall this year. So I'm going to use Stitch for Stacy. Which I'm using Steven Universe for her currently. I've used Steven Universe the past couple years, but they don't have a Steven Universe this year. And I also got Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty is going to be on my wall. It's a lot of the, what is it, season four episode pictures, which wasn't my favorite season, but still, Rick and Morty. I love Rick and Morty. I usually have two calendars on my wall. I'm going to ask for, or I'm going to get, probably, I don't know. I'm going to get a bluey calendar for Christmas this year and I'm gonna put Bluey and Rick and Morty on my wall so yeah I got these little sticky uh stress balls um I think they were all over TikTok once but they're the ones where you can like stick together and you throw at the wall or the ceiling like mainly the ceiling and they'll like you know catch them or whatever and that's just sounds so fun and relaxing to me so I got these sticky balls um i want to say the best stuff for last which is a lot <laughs> um well it's part of the best stuff i already showed you some of the best stuff like three things you probably know what i mean by that and you can probably see what i'm taking out of here it's like this <clears throat> next i got these preemie baby uh onesie pajamas for my doll winslow i don't know if i've or my plushy winslow like winslow from cat dog i may i think i posted the video of my like winslow from like adventures in greece you're sitting outfit um plush that i got custom made i love buying baby clothes for this thing and he fits in a premium this is actually probably too long um but I was originally going to get something else and it went out of stock and then I'm like crazy about Christmas so I'm like oh I'm going to give them Christmas jammies. So cute. I love and they're like fleece. They're like so soft. So cute. And then 
I got these stitched sweatpants. They are ginormous because one, I am fat, and two, I also like big baggy clothes. So when you're fat, that gets kind of difficult. So this is like a 3X. Um, I could probably wear like a 1X, like an extra large or a 2X or something. I don't know. I'm not that fat. I'm like fat, but like I'm not obese. This is like huge. Like this will be very baggy on me. But it's got stitch. My face is stitch and it says, oh, it says stitch. Who would have known? And it's this very cute, kind of like a cotton candy tie dye. I bet it's so cute. And then I got a Christmas event calendar set. Um, almost every year. I don't think I did it last year. I make my own, I buy my own stuff. I put it in bags, which is what I'm going to do with some of this, I think. I kind of don't want to, but I also wanted to save the money. Also, I planned to put this in here, like my measurements were off. It comes with pick, uh, the bags, clips. Uh, a little string, some stickers. I know that I want to get like, oh, I probably can't get that DVD thing I wanted done. Hmm. Find something else. There's like a poster, a little poster, and like gift cards and pens or I don't know something like that. I'm gonna have to look into it. Oh yeah, one of the the what I wanted instead of these at first, I was gonna use. Oh no, I know what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my Lush haul this year. Um, for that. Uh, anyway, um, and then I got some Rick and Morty coasters, and they're like 3D, really cool images. Um, there's like four of them. My Rugrats ones from the Nick box are musty. Same with my, like, uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple ones from the Nick box. They're gross. Like, they're getting nasty. Like, yeah, you can clean them off, but it's just, and I don't care for Rugrats that much, and I don't care for... Legends of the Hidden Temple at all, really. When I found these, and I was picking what I wanted for my birthday, I was going through a huge Rick and Morty phase. It was, like, right after, like, the last episode of Season 5 came out. And I was, like, obsessed. Almost all of my gifts were going to be Rick and Morty. It was crazy, but it's changed a lot since then. But I decided to keep the coasters because they're dope. So, okay. These things, I am so so very excited about these are the last item item things there's like another item thing and then like a whole thing anyway i got a bunch this one is so cute like i found this one day i was like it was like the middle of the night and i was supposed to be asleep but i couldn't sleep so i was on my phone i was looking through amazon this is the cutest one of the cutest things i've ever seen my mom was like upset that i was gonna you know not wear until like or not open it till now it's like october 28th she wanted me to like you know have it wear it because obvious reasons it's so cute i'm so obsessed this cat dog halloween shirt with the freaking jack lantern on it oh my god that reminds me i got a huge pumpkin at a farm that we go to it's like really tall it's like 35 pounds or no yeah 35 pounds and it's tall and flat so it's like tall and the sides are flat I'm going to carve a cat dog pumpkin. One side's gonna have cat's face and the other side's gonna have dog's face. And I'm doing that today because I was gonna do it last night but it was getting dark because I forgot. And the pumpkins weren't sitting out there and I'm gonna do that today and I'm so excited. But oh my God, this shirt is so cute. I love it so much. Spoiler alert, the rest of the stuff is just cat dog shirts. I am so excited. Okay, this one I've, um, there's like an older design from like 2010, 2011, that kind of era of this shirt with this image. Um, and maybe from like Hot Topic or something. But this is still officially licensed. The dancing shirt, is it how cute? It's so cute. I love it. A little dancing shirt. Also, same with my sweatpants. My shirts are ginormous because I'm fat and I want really baggy shirts. I'm gonna save this shirt for last because it's different. <laughs> Okay, then we have, I've had my eye on this one for a few years. Like, I've had this on my wish list for years. Same with, like, another one. But the little hi-ho diggity shirt with, like, a bunch of different cat dog pictures. It is so cute. It's so big and baggy. And I love it. It's so cute. Oh, wow. I was like, there's more. This, this one has been on my wish list for years, just like the other one. The little kiddie pool 
cat dog shirt. It's so, um, which by the way, when you, on, you know how on Amazon when you get a t-shirt, my pictures you get to choose a different color I've chosen these colors for reasons because like that shirt I just showed you the hi-ho diggity because like all the colors same with this one I was gonna get in like baby blue but I thought you know there's so much blue in it it's so colorful and bright I get white so cute this one I found not too long ago I got in baby blue a little cursive cat dog shirt then I'm spelling a cat dog in knots they are so cute I love them this one when I found it, I was so obsessed. Like I am obsessed with rainbows, but I also want to make it clear that I'm not obsessed with rainbows because I'm gay and that's not bad. That's like, I'm not like making that a bad thing. I don't know. But this shirt, I think it said pride in it, like pride shirt, but I think it was cause it's the rainbow. Like, I don't know. I might wear it to bed because I don't want to wear it out and people assume that I'm gay because I don't want people to think some, I'm something that I'm not. Not that it's bad to be gay, but I don't want people to be like, oh, she's gay. Like, no, I'm not gay, so don't think that I am because I'm not. I don't like, I don't want people's assumptions. I don't know. It's weird. But I love rainbows and I love this shirt and they're dancing. It's one of my favorite poses. They're so cute, the little dancing. It's like the rocking figure and the vinyl figure from the Nick Box. Got the little rainbow and then like the fish and bones. It is so cute. I've got a giant on my shirt in white because it's colorful and I love it so much. The last cat dog shirt. I am so excited. This, just like a bunch of other shirts on like Amazon, you can get different styles with the same image and like different colors. This one, obviously I needed it to be a sweatshirt because it is a Christmas sweater shirt. I love my sweatshirts. When it gets cold outside, all I wear is sweatshirts, t-shirts, which, which is weird. Cause like, it's almost as if I never wear t-shirts sometimes. I go through like sometimes in the summer, Maybe in summer I wear tank tops, cold winter, cold times. If it's hot outside, tank top. Hold on. If it's cold outside, tank top. If it's if it's hot outside, tank top. If it's cold outside, sweatshirt. Um, and I won't even wear a shirt, shirt like a t-shirt under my sweatshirt because that's too warm, you know. But it's like an ugly Christmas sweater shirt. It says cat dog. So cute. I got so big. It's, it's just like my Uncle Grandpa ones that I have. It's like Amazon, the same kind of shirt. Okay. Let me do something real quick. I gotta grab something. Okay. So the reason my room is empty is because we are repainting it. Um, I don't know if you can see the marks. That mark back there is from my black chair. That's the new color it's gonna be. I, there's nothing in my room. There is, aside from clock, which I have to take down, TV, which just pulls out, and little DVD rack that I just put, that I'm just gonna put on, like, painter's tape on. There is nothing in my wall, on my walls. The only thing I have in my room right now is my bed. My bed only has my cat dog Kawaii cube, my pillow, and my blanket. I got a Winslow bed with Winslow in it. This, this. My desk is in front of my closet door. I'm vlogging on this, by the way, so you'll see eventually. My my desk is in front of my closet door because it's just long enough to be in front of my closet door, so it's not in the way of painting anything. My shelf that have my Nickelodeon stuff on it. It's gonna go in the hallway tomorrow. Um, I've got a little ottoman I need to take out, a box, and I have to put stuff in, and I think so, my purse, my stitch, because my stitch is going to go over here, and my desk is going to go behind me, and so that goes on this wall. My ottoman needs to come out, and the drawers need to come out on my dresser, which might just be able to stack on top of my desk, but my room is empty. I don't know if you could tell. Wow, I'm so congested. I don't know if you can tell. But my room is so echoey. Like I had to turn on my space heater last night and actually turn on the fan, fan part of this thing, just to have some white noise because I couldn't make a noise or do anything without it echoing. Like right now, how my window's kind of open because 
it's a little warm, but it's cold outside. I, I don't know why I have my window open. I just do. And uh, so I call you, my neighbors might be able to hear me, but I don't really care. Um, we're painting my room. Wow, I like the top. Um, we're painting my room because I want to get new shelves. And I can't have new shelves unless I paint first. Because I can't have something that's going to be so permanent that it has no plans to come down without painting my walls first. So, um... This is a 48 inch shelf and I have four of these for all of my cat dog stuff. The only reason I have new shelves and I'm painting my room is because I want more shelves for my cat dog stuff. I, I had three 36 inch shelves before and those from, were from like when I was a baby. So they're dirty, gritty, and old. And these have four 48 inch shelves they pro they're like this way like the same length as the other ones i hope the screws are in here somewhere but um my grandma gave me a hundred bucks for my birthday my dad gave me a hundred bucks for my birthday i bought four shelves which cost me like 73 bucks i bought paint my mom bought some of the paint supplies because we need ceiling paint because and I mentioned my vlog is going to go up sometime next week or something. I, my walls look like, like, I, they look dirty, almost as if there's, like, been fire on my walls, sort of. You, like, you know what I mean? That probably makes no sense. Um, it's not a good idea to light candles <clears throat> in a small space because it leaves black all over the walls all like you can see where I've had pictures and stuff on the walls and literally anything on my walls because black everywhere it's like every that we're painting the ceiling because the black is all over the ceiling it's from the smoke from the candles so I have a stitch wax warmer I need to post that video too I made a video of like unboxing it I haven't posted it I need to um but um, we're painting my ceiling, which my mom bought the ceiling paint because she's not only gonna paint my ceiling, she's gonna paint the like other ceilings in the house, other parts of the ceilings, ceiling in the house, extra rolls, like the paint rolls. So I only spent like $67 and I bought like paint and material that I'll need specifically to paint my room. And then I still had money left over somehow, and I still have money coming in from Akari. I bought a cat dog hat and vintage cat dog shorts. They're like little girl shirt shorts. They're like a short skirt thing. And I'll put pictures up because I don't have them right now. They're on their way. Oh, I also when I bought the cat dog stuff, I bought a broadcast DVD. I have a Christmas one, and it's from like the same person. I bought a Christmas one from this person last year. It has like this Teddy Bear Christmas, Charlie Brown, uh, Garfield, and I think like part of Rudolph or something. Or, yeah, I think it's part of Rudolph. And that would make sense because I bought the second tape. They had like two Christmas tapes. Rudolph, Frosty, Frosty, Winnie the Pooh Christmas special which I typically wouldn't care for, but I, I think it's going to be fun and cute. I think it's really cute. I'll watch it, you know? Uh, Rudolph, Frosty, Winnie the Pooh, and Grinch, which I also... When, it's funny. When I was a kid, I was so stubborn. I think I was, like, embarrassed to like it. I hated Frosty so much. I hated the Grinch, which I'm fine with. Like, I'm fine with watching the Grinch. I don't care for Dr. Seuss stuff. Aside from the Green Eggs and Ham thing, I love that. Uh, the little Netflix series, which I'm waiting for season two. But um, the Grinch I'll watch because it's like nostalgic. For us, I'll watch too. It's like nostalgic and like Christmas spirit stuff. Winnie the Pooh, I'm kind of excited to see. You've never seen it before. Rudolph, I love Rudolph. Um, and the first one was I said it was Garfield, Charlie Brown, this teddy bear Christmas thing. And I swear there was something else. I swear it had to be. I, I know it was like part of Rudolph or something, but there had to be something else. So I got another Christmas DVD too with my birthday money. So all of my stuff, my shelves, painting my room, 
And the stuff I bought extra is everything I got for my birthday, I believe. And cakes, but that's just me. Alright, if anyone actually made it this far and listened to me, thank you. Um, bye.